Hi, today I'm going to talk about extending the Python finite element solver that I introduced in my previous video from about 100 lines to about 200 lines. And by doing that, we can improve the, the usefulness of the code by extracting the geometry information and nodes, elements, and the, the boundary conditions into an external file. In the previous version that I talked about, that was all hard coded into the Python code itself. But by doubling the size to 200 lines, we can get that in an external file and that makes it really much easier and more useful. So I did that and I just implemented that functionality. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about how that works and show you uh, the, the results from doing that. So as before in the previous video, uh, it's a 2D problem that I'm looking at. I'm using linear finite elements and linear elastic material just to make it simple. And, um, but I extracted the, the information uh, of, about the geometry into an external file. And uh, here's a quick little problem that I solved using this Python code. It's a, obviously a dog bone shaped specimen that I pull to the right. Um, and um, the way it works is that when you run this, you, you basically just get the results that you're expecting to see. So let's take a look at the code itself. Here's the Python code. I'm not going to go through that in detail. In, in upcoming videos, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the theory of this here. But it's very similar to last time. I basically structured it the same way, but I created a new function, read input file, and that reads the commands that specify the nodes and, and elements, etc. And I just picked a, a pretty generic format for it. Um, and you can read through this here if you're interested to see how I read in this information. Uh, use an external file. And then the rest of this is similar to before. Um, I also added another section to the end here where um, it extracts the stresses and strains in each integration point, and that can be plotted as well. The input file format that is used here is similar to uh, what's used in some uh, more famous uh, finite element solvers. It's a node definition. There are two nodes, X and Y. And then there are, for the down, there will be element definitions. Here we have element definitions, element number, and then the nodes that make up that particular uh, element. And in the end, there are some boundary conditions, just like we did in the previous uh, example. So I, if you run this, you will get the results that I showed. Let me just show some of the results. Here's the displacement field. If I apply a small displacement on the right side, uh, here's the vertical displacement field. Here's uh, the strain, the horizontal strain. Here's the horizontal stress. And uh, that's really all there is to it in this case. This runs very quick and gives uh, pretty much the expected results. Um, it's curious, though, that if you, if you go through this and you look at it carefully, you will see that the results that come out of this Python solver it's not exactly the same as you get if you run the same problem in Abacus. And the difference here is Abacus by default uses a slightly different element formulation. Something called the B-bar method is used in Abacus by default for this type of element in order to prevent volumetric locking if the Poisson's ratio is high. And that's not something I have implemented yet. I'm perhaps going to do it. I'm not so sure. I'm doing this mostly for demonstration purposes. I'm not intending to use this to solve any problems that are important, but it's kind of interesting to see how this works. And the reason why I did this uh, little video today was to illustrate how easy it is to extract the information from an external file instead of hard coding the nodes and elements in through the Python code itself. Um, if you want to find out more about where to find this Python code, you can read in the comments below. And if you have any questions, you can ask them below as well.